Battery life has been a major concern for all users around the world. Each day people try different methods to improve upon their battery life. Especially when it comes to a custom ROM, most of the users are facing battery drainage issue. The main reason behind this problem is that in custom ROMs, the kernel, CPU and RAM is not pre-calibrated or optimized. So I have come up with a method to optimize the battery as much as possible. And I had tried this method on several devices. And the good thing is that it is working in almost every device. Now before starting, I would like to tell you that this video is done in two parts. The second half of the video is done by my friend HK who is the Android guy and he is going to tell you about some quick tips to improve upon the battery life. So make sure to watch the full video. Now without any further ado, this is your host Samir and let's get started. The prerequisites before installing this mode are First, your device should be rooted. Second, you should have a custom recovery installed. Third, pre-install busybox command. If you don't know how to root or install custom recovery on your device, I had made a separate video on that. So just click the above link to check out that video. Now first install the busybox app. To do that, just search busybox in the play store and download this one. Then after that install the busybox command by just clicking the install button. It will ask for root permissions, so grant it. After that, download the lspeed flashable zip file and put it in the internal memory of your device. I will leave the link of this file in the description box. Now boot your device into recovery mode and make a backup of your current ROM which is highly recommended. Then install the lspeed zip file when the installation is complete reboot your device. Now the mod has been successfully installed. To take command over this mod, you have to download an app called Terminal Emulator for Android. But one thing I would like to mention that, by default the lspeed zip file applies several kernel tweaks, RAM optimization and CPU calibrations that should be sufficient to improve the battery life of any Android device. But if you want to go further and do some tweaks by yourself, you can use this Terminal Emulator app. To access the lspeed setting wizard, open the emulator app and type SU. Then press enter and give root access. Now type LS in capital letter and hit the enter to access the L speed menu. From here, enter the number 2 to access the L speed setting wizard. Now as you can see there are several different RAM, CPU, kernel tweaks that you can enable or disable. So guys this is the best rooted method which can boost your battery performance and add up to 4 more hours to your battery life. Try this mode and tell me how well your device is performing. So guys that's all, now HK will give you some quick tips. So here comes the android guy. Someone once said, with greater powers comes greater responsibilities. But in terms of smartphones, with greater powers comes greater battery drain. Now every smartphone has slightly different battery needs and consumes energy based on what apps you're using or what hardware your device is rocking. To have a better idea on where's the battery going, head over to the Android settings and navigate to the battery section. Scroll down and you'll find the list of processes that consumes the most amount of battery. And straight off the bat, it's the display that consumes the most amount of battery on your device. Since modern smartphones and tablets are literally 90% covered with displays, so it's quite expected. But the fun part is, if you can tame your display, you can save a lot of battery. For that, simply tap on the screen section, then hop over to the display tab. And here you're gonna see a bunch of options. And start by turning off the adaptive display. It's basically a fancy word for auto brightness. And that's because auto brightness usually sets the brightness level to a bit brighter than what's actually needed. So turning that off and manually setting the brightness will save a ton of battery. It also shuts off the ambient sensor, saving some more battery. Next up, scroll down and turn off other fancy things like ambient display, daydreaming and all. These features are not productive at all. They are basically sitting there like hungry lions ready to eat up your battery. So yeah, turn them off. 
Further down the list, you're gonna notice the sleep tab. Open that up and set it to a lower value. I recommend setting it to one minute. You can also set it to as low as 30 seconds and that will decrease the time the display is turned on idling before it automatically turns off. So setting it to a lower value will turn off your screen a bit quicker and that will save you a considerable amount of battery over time. And with that, the display part is done. Let's head back to the list. Next up in the list, we have an app called Facebook, which I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard about. Now I hate to break it down to you, but Facebook is basically the app that causes major battery and performance drain on smartphones. I mean, just look at it. It uses so many resources to function. I mean, we don't usually see apps so high up in the list because smartphone apps are designed in a way that they don't usually consume a lot of battery, only games do. So it's a smart move to either switch over to a lighter version of Facebook, like Facebook Lite or Tinfoil, or use the web version of Facebook. And that should instantly save you like 20% of your device battery. I mean, it's really funny to see how uninstalling just one app can save you so much of battery. Next up, we're gonna be having Android OS and Android system. Now these are Android system processes. These are the things that makes Android work. So there's nothing much we can tweak here, but just to let you know, slightly newer or more optimized version of Android consumes less battery as compared to the older version of Android. So it's always recommended to update your Android system if available. Now there are several little things that you can do to further improve your battery life, like turning off auto sync in account settings, turn on the built-in battery saving mode in battery settings, getting rid of background processes every now and then, removing widgets that you never use, using a darker color wallpaper for devices with the OLED display, use the power control widget to have a quick control over Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and brightness. So when you're not using these, turn them off. If there is a battery drain issue with your device, that is even after doing all of the things that I mentioned in this video, still your device battery is running out, then you might have to change your device battery as batteries start losing their potency after three to four years of continuous use. But if your device simply consumes a lot of battery, that is the battery life is poor in general, then you should rather get yourself a power bank like this massive 16,000 mAh power, power bank by Xiaomi, which recharges my phone like five times in a row. And it's made out of aluminum, aluminum, so yup, feels pretty premium. And if battery life matters a lot to you, like me, I spend like four months of the year in the forest, you know, doing some training work, lifting some weights with bear and wild animals. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, you know. I actually do this for living, not this, I mean this for living, yeah, that's right. Anyways, if battery life is your thing, then you should definitely get yourself the smartphone with the world's largest smartphone battery in it, which is a massive 6000 mAh battery, almost twice the size of most smartphone out there, which means it lasts for a whooping 4 days straight on a single charge. That's right, a modern Android smartphone with a 4-day battery. So yep, I'll let that sink in. So guys, that's all for today. If you like this video, then do hit the like button and for more future updates, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video, so stay tuned.